Hello everyone, we are back for our third drive today. Um, so far so good. Uh, there are still definitely issues with this version, but otherwise I think we're pretty good um, after point release for a wide release. I don't see any critical issues. It, I mean, it's a few problems. I saw my last video with the Easter egg cowbell that drove me nuts. Oh, it's so annoying. But um, I think we'll fix... Okay, that's not where we're going. I'm gonna pull out on the road here and enable full stop driving. Make sure it doesn't get into the parking lane. It kinda is, now it corrected itself. Good. So, bring up the camera to explain. So this right here is all parking along the road. No cars here right now, all this is parking right in here. So, uh, it should not be riding in that lane. You can see the car in front of me right there, all that is parking. The, uh, the paint is worn away. You can't really see it. Um, as a side bonus, I'm going to be... Hmm. I personally don't like that, but I think it's fine. Uh, see, that, not fine. I don't... I, I see no reason why it would have jammed on the brakes like that. And the only reason I let it do it is because there is absolutely no one around me. No one at all. The only reason I let it do that, um, just to see like if there's anything on screen, maybe I, I didn't notice anything. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, I'm actually gonna go ho home after this, and then I'm going to pick up my trailer and go back in the town to pick up. I'm actually gonna go pick up a couple burn barrels, um, and we're gonna see how the car handles uh, with version level with a trailer. Uh, 69 at 25 at 2 handled quite well uh, and the version before that handled well as, as well so uh, we're, we're gonna see just how how good if anything has changed while towing uh, it was so good in fact that I'll be I'll be so upset if it um, handles worse or just like doesn't let me use it um, that it, it just it was that good having a trailer towed um, while having full self-driving All the scenery is changing around here. We got our updated high school. Why is it? Okay. That was wrong. It needs to stay in this lane. It's it's getting, it's turning right, right at this light. Right? It's turning right, right here. It, it literally couldn't get over if it went in that left right lane right there. So I canceled that. Like, I, I'm hoping when you cancel a lane change like that, that it's, um, that feedback goes back to Tesla. Like, I could disengage, but there's no point. I mean, it's just easier to hit the stock. They'd be like, hey, cancel lane change and stay in this lane, and then it does it, and then everything's good, right? If I disengaged, right, it, I mean, it just depends how they have their feedback, I guess. That's why I wish I could do voice feedback on every single little thing. Like, I canceled the lane change because it was getting in the wrong lane. We're making a right turn, it was getting in the left lane. Exactly, I, that, that's, I don't know why it was doing that. And this car is about to pull out in front of me. See, as you can see, look how far he, uh, he moved that, look how far that guy moved his head. Um, like, look at, like, as a human, I can lean up two feet in front of me, right? The B pillar can't do that. And so it makes a huge limitation on visibility on many areas. I personally think they can get away with it. I don't think there's enough scenarios where it's gonna cause an issue where they couldn't geofence it out to make the robo taxi. I personally think the reason Tesla's um, doing this with the cameras uh, is it makes the simplest for version of making it work. They're trying to make everything as simple as possible to just to make it work. Adding more cameras adds complexity and makes it harder, right? I personally do think they need to add cameras for um, level, like true level four and especially level five. I think it's absolutely unacceptable, the current camera layout for true level four and level five. They can have geofence restricted to level four like Waymo has and like Cruz has, but I don't think they're gonna have true level four and level five without adding cameras it's just 
in my opinion, there's enough scenarios that aren't safe enough with the current visibility. There's ways they can reroute and navigate around to get around those, but to go anywhere, it's gonna require additional cameras, in my opinion. It oddly seems kind of like to be going slow on this road for some reason. I mean, it's fine, I mean, it's the speed limit, but this feels slow for some reason. Okay, so this is a good interaction with some cars. You can tell a little bit of hesitancy, but otherwise it handled it well. Let's see if it turns on the blinker here. It, it should. Well, most of the time it just swings off. Good. It's so gonna keep the blinker on. Okay, awesome. So, I wish you could just delete stops. Like, just tap on it and hit delete. Oh, this, this car's um, still behind me. Okay. Yeah, so it can't just stop in the middle of the road. I wish I could just like cancel that waypoint without having to dig through the menu. It is better that it's down here now. I will admit that's better. Oh, oh let's see if it reads the speed limit sign. Yep, it's speeding up. Good. A little bit of phantom break in there for some reason. Let's see, make sure it can turn in right here. Okay, I had to press the accelerator just a little bit. So we're not gonna count that disengagement, but um, cause, no, I'm parking it here. But um, yeah, everyone, so that we are going to be back out after Oli, and I will continue on the way home on the highway. We're back out, everyone. It's, when they add parking lot mode, it is going to be scary, for lack of a better word. Like, to trust the backing out of a parking spot, getting around, moving around, finding the exit. That's going to be intense. Oh, what? Jammed on the brakes right there. Did not look before taking unprotected left. Okay, so that's going to be one disengagement, everyone. Um, and it should not go until this... Could not see to the right, should not have gone. Hey, two disengagements. Okay, we are good to go. Sadly, um, yeah, that, I mean, that was a fairly complex scenario, but it, it failed. Simple as that. It failed to check. Um, the voice recordings are so nice, everyone. So nice. Um, to be able to just quickly be like, hey, it did not, ch you didn't check for oncoming traffic. You can't see to the right. Don't just go. <laughs> right? And so they can, they can figure out based on the voice recordings how often that's happening. What is it? Okay, you know, like it needs to stay in this lane. But it's like, I want to get in the left lane. I want to get in the left lane. I want to get in the left lane. It's just like thinking about it so hard. That's wrong. Um, sadly, <laughs> um, it does not need to be in that lane. That lane ends and goes into the mall. This is the correct lane to stay in all the way until the highway. They have definitely made changes to the plant, the planner. Um, a lot of different neural net changes. My hope is all these like interventions and disengagements um, drastically or quickly train the planner. I really hope they focus on that next. The, the driving is like more than acceptable. It's the planner. And you used to plan way up ahead. Like if like the way I plan, if I leave Aldi, I know I'm gonna be in this lane all the way until the highway. 
because you have to be in this lane to merge onto the highway. I know consistently through history that this lane is backed up to if I'm in the left lane and trying to get over in the right lane, it's going to be much more difficult for me and I'm going to have to either be a, an asshole, for lack of a better term, to get over uh, and just cut in front of someone or I'm going to have to just like just go straight and miss miss my turn. And it's just not worth the 10 seconds you're going to save by being in the left lane. And sometimes, more often than not, you don't save any time because the, the traffic ends up moving just as fast in this lane as it does in the left lane. So it's not like you're going to get to the entrance on the highway any quicker. Okay, and that's good behavior. I'm glad that has not regressed. It, it took many versions before that was done correctly. Wow, it's already speeding up to 60 here. That's actually great for me. This is how I would drive, right? Again, this is how I would drive, and it's, and it's doing it, right? I would speed up here. Now, is it going to turn the blinker on? I don't think it's going to turn the... It should turn the blinker on now. Like, it is not doing it. It just should not merge on the highway like this, in my opinion. It should turn the blinker on, and it should just merge over when it, can, when it has room. There's no one behind me. There's no, like, there's no one there. Should just go ahead and get over. I don't. That that's gonna be probably a big debate on how it should behave. But in my opinion, it should just go ahead and get over. And so you can tell with that model three in front of us, that was a manual lane change, um, either by pressing the stock or um, by manually just getting over and you can tell since they're they're not centered in the road so they're driving manually right now i always find it interesting like autopilot's so good i don't know why anyone would want to drive manually i just don't i just don't get it because you look you, he's they're drifting back and forth in the lane they're staying a little bit left in the lane autopilot is dead center in the lane you can tell if you just look at the way people drive they're just moving back and forth I just don't know why you would not want to use autopilot. Now that one, I, I didn't actually pay attention if it had the, um, it might have had the same trim I have with the, um, uh, what am I trying to think of? Um, it has chrome, chrome's the word I'm looking for. It has chrome on, on the car. And so some of those models didn't include autopilot, so that might be why they're driving manually. Um, they, didn't, they just didn't have autopilot. And of course, they wouldn't want to spend five, seven thousand dollars for autopilot at this point. So we're already getting over. This is what I kind of don't like. I'm like, we're, get, we're approaching up to this car, and we are starting to pass them, but we're not moving quite fast enough to justify getting in the passing lane. That's why I wish there was an offset to passing speed. So I'm like, okay, go up to you know, whatever set amount over the speed limit to pass and then go back down to what your set speed was before. In my case, I would probably do 72 right now. So you look, this is what happens. So I, my car gets over, I've done this myself. My car gets over thinking it's gonna pass these people and then it just sits here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back over because there's no point to sit in the passing lane if you're not actually gonna pass someone. We got this car merging onto the highway. Let's see how my car behaves. And because, okay, that was the right distance apart, so it slowed down a little bit even to make, make distance. But otherwise, great, great behavior. See right there. See, this as a human, I know that car is slowing down because it's about to merge onto that um, interchange right here. And I would have just stayed behind it and started speeding back up instead of getting over. Now we're in the passing lane again, and he needs to get back over. I, I don't understand why it's decided to um, not get back over. I'm in the average profile. Let's see if it ever, let's, there's the car coming up on my right. They're probably gonna pass me on my right because my car is staying here. Because I'm eventually gonna, the, the speed limit's gonna reduce up here. 
we're gonna see what it does. It should, it should get over. It's just not. Okay, see now it's getting over as soon as the speed limit changed. Look at this car drifting in my lane. And it handled it well. See, that, that's something that navigating autopilot would not have handled well. I'm pretty certain because it happened one time and I had to disengage. My car slowed down and moved over even a tiny bit for that car going into my lane. That's really good behavior and that's the advantage of having full stack on the highway. It can do maneuvers like that now that Navigant Autopilot just would not do. And so that's really good behavior and is really important for safety. That's going to increase safety even more on the highway. Was, this person was almost hit. They almost sideswiped me. They were looking on their phone. And they almost sideswiped me. Okay, actually, that was correct. It should. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. Um, at this close to the exit, it needs to stay in this lane and not get over. So that actually was good to cancel that lane change. A lot of people, I guess, out of town right now. I don't know why this is like several people. Like, people out of the state just can't drive, man. New York drivers, I guess. Dash, dash cam footage um, if you don't see it in the video then I guess I was overreacting but they were pretty close to me like they were within a foot and a half of me yeah so this is definitely improved getting off the highway here much slower yeah and sometimes it would be going 65 right here which is ridiculous um, and then it would jam on the brake going down the hill because it can't slow down quick enough this is so much better getting off the highway here. It's more efficient, and it's just, yeah, overall just better. Let's see how it does. We have a car coming on the right. If it goes now, it's good. It needs to stop. It's just creeping out into the road while this car is going. That's really not good behavior. I'm gonna go ahead and snapshot that. Um, it should wait until that car goes, and then I can go. Or at least be the, the car should be in front of me before my car starts like going out into the road. So everyone, um, I, I mean, good, just look in the description that the, the timestamps and we'll, that, that allows me to have some time to digest the video properly and mark everything. Uh, otherwise, I think everything did really well um, for the most part. It's, Let's see how it does with the cyclist. We get a last little bonus footage. Is it gonna pass the cyclist? I don't think it's gonna. It's not gonna pass him, is it? In a way, you shouldn't right here because it's kind of a blind curve. I need to be able to see far enough ahead to be able to pass this person. Hmm. We're gonna end it here after we pass this cyclist. Whether I have to take over. Now he's gaining speed. See, this is the appropriate spot to pass. I'm gonna go ahead and pass him. Okay, well, everyone, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you. Bye.